Hello everyone, this is Matt Ullman, and talking about something that really threw me for a loop last night when I was listening to the news before bed. Apparently, California has, the Supreme Court anyway, has turned down legislation making gay rights illegal. Which, hey, I'm all for because I can never understand the hoo-ha about it anyway. If two, and what the thing that got me to do this, and I'll s I have to scroll down a little bit. See, yeah, here it is. Who's uh, something Brian Brown said of the National Organization for Marriage, which just in itself is a stupid concept. Said the ruling is not the way a democracy is supposed to handle these sort of heartfelt divisive issues. Well, number one, hey, Brian, wake up call, dumbass. That's what the courts are for. Apparently, you flunked, you know, shall we say, government, when something that has been debated and debated goes to a court, it is their job to make decisions. That's what we pay them for. Wow, what a concept. I think this is really going to get a lot of fur ruffled because they would have such an easy way out if the co if the court was Democrat. Oh, it's just these loose little liberals or whatever the hell, whichever side the Democrats are. I never followed that BS. You vote for who you think and you vote for what your heart tells you to do. It doesn't matter if you're liberal or conservative. That's just a label. But it's a Republican-controlled Supreme Court. Now, of course, they're floundering because they can't believe it that their own people would go against them. I don't see it as going against them, personally. I see it as them waking up. California, you know what? Even if Massachusetts and California are the only two that do it, California just in its history and its culture inevitably are going to have to adopt this. There's just too many gay people there. Is that such a bad thing? No. You know what, folks? You don't like it. There are 48 other states over there. Go live in one of them. Leave them alone. I'm personally disgusted with my state because we had a chance to vote down a things saying it would be banned and we were stupid and we didn't. Washington State incidentally. I hope to God and I know why that happened that was a presidential ballot and they made damn sure that it would be a presidential ballot we'd be voting for. So it's the only time they ever bothered to manipulate the votes come on. I just really I'm happy for them. I honestly, I'm not gay, okay? Bisexual, maybe, but I've never really pursued that interest. When the first guy you kiss has a stubby beard and smoker's breath, you tends to put you off on it a bit. <laughs> Nothing against him. He was a sweetheart, but I... Kissing a smoker to me just does not work. My wife smokes and it's hard for me to kiss her. Nine times out of ten I just give her a kiss on the cheek or whatnot and she understands that. I never have smoked, so I don't see the I don't see the fascination there, but I'm digressing. I'm hoping Governor Schwarzenegger, which I I was really skittish about being governor, but he's done a good job. Initially has vetoed bills that would grant it, but he said now that he will back the court's decision, that he will now veto a ban, which is good, because I think it's, I think, I want to think anyway that a lot of that was just Arnold saying, well, look, if I go too far against the Republicans, I'm going to be in deep shit here, so I'll give them this token issue, and they'll leave me alone to do, to run the state the way I see it on the rest. And now that the state 
or at least the court of the state, has basically said, look, you can do this too, we honestly don't care. <laughs> this ain't bugging us, it's bugging these asshats over here. Yes, my language is bad today, I just woke up, deal with it. <laughs> I'm not ashamed, okay? I, I heard some good rants yesterday in Second Life, and it's just got me primed, man. So, I'll probably make a couple more of these after the kidlet goes. Yeah, I just, I don't see the problem. I've never seen the problem. If two people love each other, I'm not saying that churches should be forced to marry them. If you only want it so they can get married before a judge, that's fine. I don't honestly think many judges are going to give a shit, okay? They get paid, the couple gets their little wedding certificate, and everything's happy. You can honestly go out to a park if you can, you know, get it. You can bring a judge out there and have your little dress and tux wedding or dress and dress or tux and tux or what, however you want to do it. I've, I think one thing that's really scaring people is we're talking about protecting the sanctity of marriage. Yeah, that's it's real sanctified now, by the way. Uh, <laughs> fifty percent of you ain't staying married, so I don't understand that at all. I think what would really, what really gets in the craw of these people is that they're afraid that gay marriages will turn out to be healthier than straight ones. They won't divorce as much. Well, what will that say for the sanctity of marriage? You know, if the people that you've been fighting for it over, have it down better than you do, kind of puts a flaw in your reasoning, doesn't it? That's about all I can say about that, too. So, Rendell's Ravings at Yahoo.com, just send me your thoughts or whatever you want to do, or just send me a message here on YouTube, and I'll look forward to at least trying to hear an opinion on this. I mean, Lord knows it's a big enough topic. You all gotta have an opinion on this somewhere, so... Get them out, get them in text, reply in a video to this video, do whatever f tickles your fancy. I'll catch you later, probably today.